yes my dear friend welcome back to the channel this is salon's blog and it is a very beautiful thursday morning here in southeast asia malaysia to precise wherever you are on the globe you are highly welcome you are highly highly welcome well in this special edition we are going to be talking a little bit about the coach we go into uh, issues regarding the club then we'll move to the settings our stadium redevelopment plan yeah, there's a great news for the Chelsea family regarding our stadium redevelopment plan. So don't go anywhere in the next 8 to 10 minutes. I am here because of you. All right, let's get started. Sources told London World that Pochettino's or Pochettino is safe despite the disappointing 2-2 draw at Bramall Lane. It is understood the owners believe in the potential of the team. <laughs> And they are confident that the manager will achieve the season's target of qualifying for Europe. Even if it's just the Conference League. Meaning that finally we are getting to know the target for the season. Qualification for Europe. Qualification for Europe. Europa League, Conference League, Champions League. But dear friend, the question is, looking at our position right now and with the games in hand, and our performances, if we cannot win games against Sheffield United, and we were not able to beat, you know, a team, Burnley, 10-man Burnley with even a coach that is not on bench, 10-man Burnley minus their coach, which was also given a red card, and we couldn't beat bottom of the league table, Sheffield United, how do we get through to the European football next season? How? So, for those of you that are calling for Pochettino must go, Pochettino must go. Now we know when Poch can go or when Poch will be going. And there are reasons. There are financial reasons why Poch cannot be, cannot be sacked right now. There are implications. If Pochettino is sacked now, they will have to compensate Pochettino over more than 12 million pounds. Between 12 and 15 million pounds, we have to compensate him. And which will have a, an impact in the FFP regulation that we are fighting right now. But if we have to wait until the end of the season to assess him, that amount could reduce because he's on three years contract. And the three years contract by the end of this season, it will remain one year. It will be cheaper, it will be easier to analyze it. So there are financial consequences if Port is to be sacked right now. But the owners still believe that this team with this squad and the coach can still qualify for Europe. And the question is, how possible is it? Don't forget, the easiest way we can get through to Europe is to qualify for the Conference League, which is seventh position. And the Conference League right now is a loss. Any club that participates in Conference League doesn't get anything. You spend more than you gain. 13 million pounds is what you're going to be gaining from Conference League. West Ham, last time they gave me 30 million pounds. And so it's not profitable to partake in the conference league. That is why most clubs, they are not interested. Instead of conference league, they rather want to fight and get to that sixth position. Because right now, as things stands, there's a possibility that Manchester United could qualify for Champions League position in the fifth, you know. If, if, if West Ham is able to, you know, go through the, with the, 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 the Europa League right now, then, or Liverpool, then there's a possibility that Britain or uh, England will get a last slot. The last slot which will make England get in six, six places in the, in the Champions League. So, if we are to qualify for Europe like the owners are saying right now, it means that even a Conference League qualification will make Pochettino stay, you know, be permanent. Or it might not be sacked. But, yeah, let me just put it that way. With a conference league qualification, will make Pochettino to be safe. But minus conference league or European football, Port is living. That is the conclusion of the owners. Yeah. Our next game is against Everton Monday night football. <coughs> Sorry. Monday night football. Can we beat Everton and get a three point and get to seventh position or eighth position? I think we, if we should beat Everton, we should be on eighth position. On the league table, eight yeah, with forty-seven points. Is it going to be possible? Now there is no confidence. These are games that Chelsea should be able to, you know, get a three points from. But there is no confidence in any Chelsea fan. 
So right now, Pochettino is saved until we are technically out of the European uh, competitions. Then only the owners can make assessments and decisions. Dear friend, it is what it is. It is what it is. The owners, they have confidence that this team with a coach can still get through. And another thing, another reason why they cannot sack Pochettino right now. Who will take over if they sack Poch? All the top, top coaches, they would like to take a contract that will start from the beginning of the season. That they would like to take this team, this young team now. They would like to take them through their own pre-season. And they will make their own demands. Maybe additional of two or three or four players that they need in that squad in order to make it work. With the current situation of this club, the current generation coaches, talking about Xavi Alonso, talking about uh, Amore, talking about Dizebi, as for Dizebi, I'm not even counting him. This some of these coaches, they would like to now bring in what they want, what they need, players that will suit their, their style of play. I'm worried now, we are, the last 48 hours, we are getting a report that Liverpool is on gentleman's agreement with Amore, Ruben Amore, from Sporting Lisbon. So that side, it is very possible he's going, even though Chelsea made a contact, but Liverpool are far ahead of Chelsea. Yeah. Dear friend, what do you think? Until we get there, Poch stays with Chelsea. Yeah, that is the news we had in the last 20 hours or so. The last 20 hours. All right. Breaking news. Breaking news. Yes, we understand Chelsea now had reached, had reached an agreement with Lyon's Champions League winning manager, Sonia Bompasta, to be the next manager of Chelsea women football. Yes. Sonia Bompasta, like we said some few months ago, finally Chelsea is able to reach an agreement with Lyon. The bomb pastor will become our next women coach. Chelsea women, Chelsea ladies coach. Yeah. Emma Hayes is leaving at the end of the season to be to take charge of the American women football team, the national team of USA. USA women national team. Emma Hayes is going to take charge of that team at the, from the from next summer. Emma Hayes is an American. She's been with Chelsea for over 12 years. She won almost everything. With Chelsea. Yes. She is a legend of the club. One of the oldest staff in Chelsea right now. And now she wants to be close to her family by going to America. Staying in America and being with her family. So Chelsea has permitted that and they have to find a replacement. Now, Chelsea has reached an agreement with Leon. Bompasta is a Leon women coach. So from next season, as we can see here right there, Bompasta is almost officially or let me say officially chelsea ladies coach from next summer dear friend all right um i am trying to get there <laughs> the version of me that you saw at the world cup i want to feel like that that was playing at the world cup i want to get back there who is speaking who is speaking there? This is Enzo Fernandez. Chelsea midfielder Enzo Fernandez admitting that he is not at his best. And I like it. Enzo says he is not at his best. Dear friend, he said he wants to be in that form that he was at the World Cup for Argentina. He feels within himself that he's not 100%. Listen, listen, he said, I feel good getting better each day. But I still don't feel like I am 100%. I am still adapting and still don't feel entirely myself. But I'm trying to get there as quickly as possible and working hard every day in order to do so. This is who speaking. Enzo Fernandez saying he is working hard to get to the level that he knew that he can be. The, the, the level that he was at the World Cup for Argentina. Listen, dear friend, some of us are beginning to think that this guy, Enzo, he is one of the world best. But it is a style of play of Pochettino that doesn't fit him. It is. Well, let me leave it there. In my next episode, I will elaborate more on this. I will elaborate more on this in the next episode. Watch out for that. My time is up. It's now 10 minutes, exactly. 
So dear friend, if you are new here, like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Let me hear from you in the comment section as well. I will see you in the next one when you see me, dear friend. Shalom and peace.